Welcome to Piping Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be showing you how to calculate slopes in pipeline. This video provides excellent information about piping skills for piping fitters. Please subscribe to our channel before starting the video. Let's starting our piping tutorial video. In this video, we will learn pipe slope calculation in the 3D model pipeline. I prepared a 3D model animation of this pipeline and put the 3D model together with the pipe drawing for you easy understand slope in piping system. As you can see in this pipeline used two pieces weld neck flanges. Two pieces 45 degree but weld pipe elbows. Two pieces 90 degree but weld pipe elbows and five pipe pieces. In this piping isometric drawing showing some slopes with these symbols and different elevations. Elevations are shown in six places in this pipe isometry and we will be able to calculate the fall in the pipeline with these elevations. Let's start to read this pipe isometric drawing from this flange. The pipeline starting point elevation height is 19,800 mm. Then pipeline 800 mm extending to southwards and then turns to the downwards at angle 45 degree elbow. The elevation of the pipeline turns point height is 19,780 mm. Additionally, the slope symbol ratio in this part of the pipeline is 140. Meaning that for every one unit of vertical elevation there are 40 units for horizontal distance. We can calculate the slope of this part of the pipeline here. 1 colon 40 equals S 800. Or, S equals 800 divided 40. At last, calculated and found S equals 20 millimeters. This means that the height of the pipeline drops by 20 millimeters over a distance of 800 millimeters. Let's check this different method, with elevations levels. From 19,800 mm, which is the height level of the starting point of the pipeline, we subtract 19,780 mm, which is the height level of the downward turn point of the pipeline. 19,800 mm minus 19,780 mm equal is 20 mm. It means the slope of pipeline during 800 mm distance is 20 mm. Then pipeline continue to downwards a length 200 mm. The height elevation of this point is 19,580 mm. We can easily calculate the accuracy of this elevation 19,780 mm minus 200 mm equal is 19,580. Then the pipeline turns with 45 degree elbow to the south direction and travel for a length of 1,700 mm. The slope symbol ratio in this part of the pipeline is showing 150. Meaning that for every one unit of vertical elevation there are 50 units for horizontal distance. We can calculate the slope of this part of the pipeline here. 1 colon 50 equals S 1700 or, S equals 1700 divided 50. At last, calculated and found S equals 34 millimeters. This means that the height of the pipeline drops by 34 millimeters over a distance of 1700 millimeters. Let's check this different method, with elevation levels. From 19580 millimeters, which is the height level of the starting point of this part, we subtracting 19,546 mm, which is the height level of the turn point of the pipeline. 19,580 mm minus 19,546 mm equal is 34 mm. It means the slope of this part of the pipeline during 1,700 mm distance is 34 mm. In this point the pipeline turns with 90 degree elbow to the west direction, and travel for a length of 700 mm. The slope symbol ratio in this part of the pipeline is 130. Meaning that for every one unit of vertical elevation there are 30 units for horizontal distance. We can calculate the slope of this part of the pipeline here. 
1 colon 30 equals s 700 or s equals 700 divided 30. At last, calculated and found approximately s equals 23 millimeters. This means that the height of the pipeline drops by 23 millimeters over a distance of 700 millimeters. Let's check this different method with elevation levels. From 19,546 millimeters, which is the height level of the turns to the west point of this part, we subtracting 19,523 millimeters, which is the height level of the turns to the south point of the pipeline. 19,546 millimeters minus 19,523 millimeters equal is 23 millimeters. It means the slope of this part of the pipeline during 700 millimeters distance is 23 millimeters. At last, the pipeline turns with a 90 degree elbow to the south direction and travel for a length of 1,335 millimeters. The slope symbol ratio in this part of the pipeline is 1 hour 70 minutes. We can calculate the slope of this part of the pipeline here. 1 colon 70 equals S 1335. Or S equals 1335 divided 70. At last, we calculated and found approximately S equals 19 millimeters. This means that the height of the pipeline drops by 19 mm over a distance of 1,335 mm. Let's check this different method with elevation levels. From 19,523 mm, which is the height level of the turns to the south point of this part, we subtract 19,504 mm, which is the height level of the last point of the pipeline. 19,523 millimeters minus 19,504 millimeters equal is 19 millimeters. It means the slope of this part of this pipeline during 1,335 millimeters distance is 19 millimeters. This tutorial video is finishing here. If you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. You can watch like those videos by entering the links in the description below of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping engineering channel and share these piping tutorial videos to your friends. Your support is very important for us, let's not miss the comments and likes my friends. Thank you for watching see you on next videos take care.